Hey guys, we're going to learn how to create some custom Android extension functions. So what I mean by this is, say you have a list or a mutable list, and there's times you want to reverse it, um, flatten it to a string. You want to do some custom things to it. And to do that, you have to create your own method, and then you have to have one of the parameters as a list and plus the um, index or whatever else you need. With creating your own Android extension function, you give that um, function to the list. So I'm going to show you what I mean right now. So what I mean is um, I'm do this. Do that. List of time block time. Right. So we have our list, and let's say we want to flatten to string. We just want to do list that flatten to string, and that should just kind of just flatten it to its string, right? But it doesn't because that, that method doesn't exist. If we were to do that, we have to create our own method. We have to do flatten string and then put in our list. Well, with Android um, extensions, we can actually give that functionality to the mutable list. And we're going to do that. So we have to create our own function. Give it uh, the property mutable list. Now we're just going to put a dot here. And now that dot is going to be flattened to string. And we turn to the string. Now, now see that we have the functionality here now, but we haven't really done anything. So just create this really quick. Now this refers to the mutable list actually. And here's a really cool thing we can do builder.append and it. It refers to like the um, the one index in the for each. And now we're done, we just flatten the image. The um not the image, the mutable list. Now we have our um, list here. We can kind of, kind of uh, style it. We can kind of put a uh, separator in there. Now see, now we have a new functionality to our mutable list without even inputting the list we have the functionality right in there and that's what what we can do with with the kotlin extensions